Hey guys, I'm Lena. I'm here with HTC Esports, and we're here with a new series for you guys. Uh, it's called IRL. We're here to explore some of your favorite esports players and their hobbies. Today, I'm here with Bjergsen, and we're at Copenhagen Pastry. And let's go inside. Everything is good. Hi. Warm cooler. Those are just some of my favorites. I think everyone likes those though. They're yeah. just uh, the classic. So you want to do two of those? Let's just get um, two of everything. Yeah. Two of everything? Yeah. All right. We can bring it home. I don't even remember some of the names because I haven't been I to a baker in so long. But it's kind of uh, tangled down here. Yeah. Cinnamon. That one looks really good too. Yeah. I mean, I like it 100%, That's it, but Africa. it's a good excuse to try. Oh, that one's really good. <laughs> that one's really, really good. So how long time has it been here, sir? Four years, five years. Wow, that's yeah. Wow, so I'm losing my, my, I'm losing my data slowly. <laughs> I, I'm not losing it, but it's not what it used to be. Yeah. I had all my roommates try the Om cool from here. Yeah. That's, that's the one I know they'll all like. And the, what's it called, the... Kansuke. Yeah, Kansuke. Yeah, that's great. Looks pretty good, huh? Looks like it's bad for my diet, though. <laughs> yeah. Diet is for the tomorrow. Pastries are today. Bad new deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's Canadian Pastries. 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 Did we get everything? Holy moly. That is a lot of stuff. Yeah, Mang Tak. Yeah, det gør vi nok. Okay. Nice to meet you. Mange tak. Hvad hedder du igen? Okay, gør du møde, Kahn. Ja, Søren. All right, so we're ready to eat our pastries. It looks like you've already started. Yeah, so so you've um, been with us for quite a while now, right? We signed you when you were 17. So long. Was I? Yeah, you were 17. Oh, yeah, I was 17. I forget. That's five years ago. Five, four and a half years ago. How old are you now? I think I'm 22. So that's a long time being away from Denmark. What do you miss about it? I don't know. I was pretty miserable in the ending periods of when I was living in Denmark, but so I don't really miss too much of the country, but I mostly miss my family. I had my dog there at the time that passed away since, unfortunately, uh, but I miss him. It's my brother's family, cousins, um, the few friends that I do have back there too. So mostly the people rather than the area, I guess. Gotcha. What about food-wise? I don't think Denmark really has that many foods other than pastries that are unique to Denmark. It's mostly just like potatoes, meat, really basic white people food, like in America, I think. But we don't have a ton of, of super unique stuff, so I can get some of it here. I know you told me that when you went back to Denmark, you went to an Asian restaurant. How was that? I think they put... Maybe they've uh, expanded since I was there, but there's like one Chinese place and one Thai place in the city that I'm in. There isn't really a vast majority. It's mostly just like orange chicken or <laughs> patsu and things like that. It wasn't that bad, but it didn't taste very Asian. It was like they took the Asian dish and then they made it as Danish as possible. They're not used to too much variety in foods. And, and that's why when, I, when my family visited here, I try to take them to stuff that's super different from what they've tried because well, not too different, because then they won't like it, but that's substantially different because it's, they've just eaten like land or the same type of food for most of their life, so. What was their favorite place here that you guys went to? I think K-Barbecue for all of them, because Danish people still like doing barbecue. My family would barbecue a lot. <laughs> My dad felt a little cheated because you have to like cook your own meat on the grill on the table. And he's like, why are, we, why are we paying for them to just give us the meat and we have to cook it ourselves, but they really liked it because it's it's such a different experience. Their mind's like blown when there's a grill in the middle of the table. My dad's like, we should get a table like this at home. <laughs> so when we have other Danish uh, players on the team, does it help make it kind of like feel like home? So you, you get to speak Danish with them still? So. It kind of helps, yeah. It helps with maintaining my Danish because I, I lose it very quickly. I can still speak the language, but it's not to the proficiency that I could before. So getting to kind of brush up on it sometimes is nice. I don't actually speak that much Danish with Sven, 
because we try to just be courteous to the rest of the team. And I don't want to be, I don't want them thinking like we might be speaking behind their back or we're talking about something. See, I want everyone to feel kind of included. Yeah. So I only really speak Danish with him if we're like alone or yeah. something like that. Or if we're in public and shit talking people. <laughs> I know like a lot of the fans, they're saying that you actually, you lost your Danish accent. I'm really happy to be back in the team, but the reason we're winning is not me as a key player, it's more the team's overall performance. And you know, some other Danish players like Froggen and Sven, they have a pretty thick accent still. Yeah, I wanted to lose it because I didn't want to be a foreigner and everywhere I go, it was like when I first came here, every time I, I said something like, oh, where are you from? <laughs> oh, are you from Germany? Are you from blah, blah, blah? And I was just so tired of that, so I just, I mean, I didn't go to like a voice coach or anything like that. Just when I was talking to people, I would try to emulate how they talk and how they said certain words because I just didn't want everywhere I go, people are asking me and treating me kind of like a foreigner, but now I miss it a little bit because now I'm just another, another Californian. Or I sound like just another Californian. I say, dude, like, hella. I try to get rid of hella though, but. Why? Because Andy always, he's like, that's hella sick, dude. That's hella nice, dude. <laughs> and people are always giving Andy shit for it, so I was like, I should stop saying hella this much. If they did national teams for League of Legends, who would you pick mm. for your all Danish team? I was just talking to Mithy about this the other day. I would really like a national tournament from Riot. I think the fans would like it too, because everyone wants to be able to have someone to root for, right? And you just root for whichever country you're in, I mean. Yeah. I think the Danish team would be good. I would be good. Sorry, Jensen. Sorry, Froggen. Uh, Sven AD. I think support might have to be Jezus. Because there aren't really any Danish supports anymore. Jezus isn't even really a pro, but he's playing for Origin right now, and I think he's still pretty good. Top would probably be Wonder from G2. He's good. What about Jungle. Danish top legend, Wicked? I'm sorry, Wicked, you're washed up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle, there's actually a lot of good options. There's Dennis, Svenskeren, Broxa. There's definitely someone I'm missing. Trashy. No? I think, <laughs> I don't think Trashy's doing so hot in EU right now, but I'd probably go Broxa or Dennis. I think we would be like top two, top three. Korea number one, because they would just have like the most insane roster. And then we would probably be battling with China for a second. China would be pretty good too, because they have just so many freaking so many players. players yeah. Yeah. I think we would be one of the top teams. There's so many countries in Europe and not that many League of Legends pros, and most of them are Danish, like Germany. They can not. still make like a decent German team or English team. I think they could make some fairly decent teams. With a Spanish team, you just have Mithy and <laughs> XPK. Mithy, XPK. Uh, think what's that guy's name, Tom? Wurlib, Top? He's not bad. They have like a whole Spanish league, you know that? Oh, really? They have like a Spanish LCS, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it would be really fun, like, come in wearing a Danish jersey, like in football. I would like that. Who do you pick for the American team? Actually, I don't think the American team would be that bad. Peter, AD, Pobelter, Kevin, Top, Ismidi Jungle, Afro Support. Pretty good team. Oh, I mean, for the US team, I would put Andy Mid, of course, sorry. <laughs> Not football, sir. I don't think he's even allowed to play competitively anymore. Yeah, I think you need to be at least D3 or something like that. No, I was about to say. <laughs> Andy's like D5. <laughs> I was about to say, because Riot actually recently changed the rule, no owner can be a competitor. Oh, oh, that's what I meant. Not, not because he can't hit. Not D3. because he's hard stuck <laughs> in, in D5. What about the, uh, I know you told me that you guys have this Danish tradition where on your birthday you would make a gingerbread man, right? Oh yeah, just a birthday man. Yeah, a birthday man? Yeah. I mean, it's just, they make like a pastry guy, similar to these pastries, but it's just like a full person. And you put candy all over him. My mom would always make mine to have a penis because she thinks she's so funny. And there would just be the gingerbread guy and then the, he would have a little wiener. <laughs> and then, uh, you just cut off the parts and then you give it to the kids. But when you when you cut off the head, all the kids scream at the birthday party. For so, I mean, it's pretty morbid, but as a kid, it's just funny. And I always like to eat the head because my my favorite candy was the the hair candy. And so you wouldn't cut off its wiener. No, I, I was not eating the wiener. <laughs> I'm sure others were, 
I'm sure it was delicious, but that's a little weird for me. Try this one. Let's break it. Ready? Break it in half? Yeah. Oh. You get the bigger piece. Nice. <laughs> she said this is the homemade marmalade. This is really good. This one's super good. It's like crunchy. I'll give it a Yelp rating. 10 out of 10. Oh wait, is Yelp 5? 5. 5 out of 5. <laughs> 10 out of 5. Culver City, LA. I think that's where we are. Yeah. Go to Copenhagen Pastries. Thank you guys for watching. This is IRL with HTC Esports. Sarah and I are gonna go. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Hi everyone, this is Bjergsen. I hope you enjoyed watching Lena and me eating some Danish pastries. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more awesome HTC content. And give them some love on social media in the description below. Let us know in the comment section below which player you want to see in the next IRL video doing some kind of IRL activity. See ya.